TMJ dysfunction is where we have issues. I'm gonna be teaching you a simple massage routine to help you relieve your TMJ pain. I'm also gonna be touching on emotions that could be contributing to this pain. At the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you some very important tips to help you create longer lasting results. These are things that you probably haven't heard before, so make sure that you watch to the end of this video. I'm Charlotte Varble, a massage and cranial sacral therapist, and I've been using this information for the last couple of decades to help my clients to heal their TMJ pain, so I'm excited to share with you on ways that you can do this at home. In my practice, I found that TMJ pain is really common. Now, TMJ refers to the temporomandibular joint. This joint is where the mandible meets the temporal bones, or in other words, where the jaw meets the skull. There's many different causes of this pain. It could be chronic grinding or clenching of your teeth. There will always be a musculoskeletal component to TMJ pain where we want to address the muscles and the bones of this region. One other really important piece to the recipe of healing the TMJ pain is emotions. This area of your body is the seat of your expression. So as we go into the massage routine, I want you to be thinking about what is the root cause of why this TMJ pain actually showed up in the first place? This is where the real magic is, is when we're thinking about the root cause, where did this start? Why is this here in the first place? I want you to think about times in your life when you've had opportunities to not be able to express yourself. Maybe you encountered um, fights with your spouse and you weren't able to say the things that you needed to say. Maybe as a child you didn't have the opportunity to express your feelings or maybe there are relationships in your life when you're holding things back and the energy and emotions of that really get stored in this throat and in the TMJ. So while we're working on doing the massage, on your face, I'm gonna invite you to say some phrases in your mind to be able to address the emotions along with doing the physical motions of releasing the muscles. This is called somato-emotional releasing. We're working with the body and the emotions to create a deeper healing. There's a phrase that I like to say when working on this area of the body and that is, I give myself permission to say what I need to say in a healthy way. I choose to release and let go. So what this will look like for you is you'll say this phrase in your mind while you're working. I give myself permission to say what I need to say in a healthy way. I choose to release and let go. While we're working, I want you to pay attention to taking deep breaths and repeating this in your mind as you relax your jaw. This is gonna create deeper, more lasting results. Now I'm gonna share with you this self-massage routine. The first thing that we're gonna do is work on three acupressure points. I love acupressure. It's so effective at supporting the body in healing so many different elements. So the one for TMJ that I'm gonna share with you today is the three points located right here in front of the ear. This is your Sanjo 21, small intestine 19, and gallbladder two. You find these points by opening the jaw and putting the finger into the depression while your jaw is open. So your finger is going to find that depression. The Sanjo 21 is located at the top of that depression. The small intestine 19 is right in the center and then the gallbladder 2 is right below that. You're going to press each of these points for about a minute. This is going to give your body time to really allow this pressure point to be activated. You're welcome to go longer if you would like to, but go for at least a minute. Now we're gonna be addressing three different muscles. These muscles are the main ones that have to do with chewing, mastication, and really the big culprits in TMJ pain. The first muscle is your masseter. Then we're gonna be going to the temporalis and then the lateral pterygoid muscles. The masseter muscle is located right on the side of the face right here. 
we're gonna be working it from the cheekbone all the way down to the jawline. To work this muscle, we're gonna first take our fingertips and do massage circles. We can do this on both sides of the face. This is just beginning to break up the tissue, start bringing blood and oxygen to the area. We're gonna go from cheekbone all the way down to that jawline. So you can just do this for about a minute, breaking up that tension. The next thing we're gonna do is take your fist and the knuckle part of your hand, we're gonna bring that up against the cheekbone and then drag that all the way down to the jawline. This is getting deeper into the muscles. We're gonna do about seven passes of this, moving from top to bottom. As you do this, you just wanna make sure that this is not too painful if it is, then back off the pressure. You want this to be like a good pain. The next thing we're gonna do is take the heels of the hands, and again, we're moving from cheekbone all the way down to the jawline, but this time we're gonna be opening the mouth as we go. So it will look something like this. We're gonna do about seven passes of this as well. When you're done with that, we're gonna do it in the opposite direction. We're gonna go from the jawline up to the cheekbone, again, opening the mouth as we go, just creating a more elongation of that masseter muscle. muscle should be feeling really good right now. And now we're gonna move on to the temporalis. The temporalis muscle is a fan-shaped muscle located above and behind the ear. So this is responsible for opening and closing the jaw. So if you take your fingertips and go right above the ears and then open and close your jaw, you will feel that muscle moving and being activated. To begin working this muscle, you're gonna take your fingertips and just start doing massage circles around the side of your head. This is, again, breaking up tension and bringing up blood and oxygen to the area. While we do this, I'm going to invite you to remember to keep your jaw relaxed, take deep breaths, and don't forget to repeat that phrase in your mind. I give myself permission to say what I need to say in a healthy way. I choose to release and let go. Bring your fingertips above your ears and then fan up. We're following the direction of the muscle fibers. We're gonna do seven passes of this one. Now we wanna go in another direction. Still take your fingertips together and this time we're gonna start right at the soft area behind the eyes. We're gonna begin here and then fan backwards. See how deep you can go? Again, you don't want this to be too painful. We want this to feel like a good pressure. And we're gonna do this about seven passes as well. Now you're gonna take the heel of your hand and we're gonna go even deeper into this muscle. For my long haired people, we're just gonna bring that hair up out of the way with the thumbs and then grab the heels and just go deeper into that temporalis. Make sure you go all around the side of the head, getting deeper into the muscle. Do this for a minute. Remember to relax your jaw and take some deep breaths. We're releasing and letting go. Now you can test this out. Open and close your jaw. It should feel a lot more loose and open. Now we're gonna be getting into the last muscle, which is the lateral pterygoid. This one is located in the back of the jaw behind the masseter. This one is a troublemaker muscle when it comes to DMJ pain. So it's really important to address this one. We're getting to this muscle intraorally, or taking our finger and going inside of the mouth. You're gonna wanna make sure that you have clean washed hands or a surgical glove while we do this massage routine. Now we're gonna be taking the pinky of one hand and going on the opposite side of the mouth. So you want your pinky, <laughs> start over.
Now you're gonna take the pinky of one hand and go to the opposite side of your face. You want the fingernail of your pinky to be facing your teeth. When we go into the mouth, we're gonna slide in and all the way back on the top of your jaw and go right into that pocket. You can open and close your mouth and that will help you to find that pocket. It will be right as far back and as far up as you can go. You're gonna hold your finger in this pocket for about 10 to 15 seconds. So I'm gonna show you, I won't be able to talk while I'm doing it, but I'm gonna show you how this is done. With your pinky up in that area, you want to do a very subtle movement. We can go up towards the top of the head, back towards the ear, downward towards the bottom of your ear and hold. Just notice where there's really tender areas. That tenderness is your body communicating, this is where I need you to hold. So we're holding this for 10 to 15 seconds and we're gonna do this on both sides. So as you're working this muscle, if you happen to feel some emotions come up, just know that that's normal. Take some deep breaths, let it move. If you don't feel anything, then that's totally fine. We're still doing some good work in this area. While you still have your glove on your hand or while your fingers are already right there in your mouth, we're gonna do a few more passes on the masseter muscle. The way that we do this is taking the pointer finger of the same side and going straight into the cheek on the soft tissue right there. You know that you're on it when you feel kind of a, a mass in between your thumb and finger. So with the thumb on the outside, we're going to be doing some massage circles and gentle pinching all the way from the cheekbone as far up as you can go inside the mouth all the way down as far down as you can go. We're going to go all along that muscle muscle and I will show that to you right here. At this point your jaw should be feeling so much better. You can do this routine a couple of times a day if you would like. Just remember that it takes time for your muscles to be able to open and release so give yourself permission to really relax move into the routine and give yourself the time that you need to heal and release and let go uh, these tight muscles and the tension that you've been holding on to. Now we'll jump into the bonus tips. The first one is to make sure that you drink a lot of water. When we're working on releasing the soft tissues, the muscles and the fascia, then there's going to be a certain level of waste material and toxins that gets released into your system. If we allow these toxins to just kind of float around, then they're going to settle back into the tissues and create soreness. We don't want that. We want it to flush through your body. The way that we do that is by drinking water. So make sure that straight away you're drinking water to flush those toxins through your body and prevent the soreness. This next tip is something that is really important for you to be aware of when dealing with TMJ pain. Now this is something that you probably haven't heard of before that is in direct relation to the cranium and that is your pelvis. As a craniosacral therapist I understand that the rotation of the cranial bones is meant to be in synchrony with the pelvic region. When one is off, it will affect the other. If you have been doing all these things to help open up and relieve your TMJ pain and it's not working, then it could be that the problem is actually lying in the pelvis. I want you to take your hands, put them on your hips, if your thumbs are facing behind you, then your thumbs will be lying right on a bone called the iliac crest. The iliac crest and your temporal bones are meant to be synchronized. When the temporal bone is off and it's affecting the TMJ, or when the iliac crest is off, it can also affect this TMJ area. So make sure that you are working on opening up the pelvis as well. You can do this a few different ways. Go out and move that pelvis by walking, 
biking, running, anything that's gonna create greater freedom of movement. Do things like hip stretches, foam rolling, get a racquetball and really get into those muscles. I have videos that talk about all of these techniques that will support you and really opening up those hips. Another thing that you can do is relaxing the TMJ and visualizing that connection going down into the hips. The TMJ and this jawbone right here, when we're opening that up, it's like a relax button for the rest of the body. So take some deep breaths, open up the jaw, visualize that relaxing, and then like a wave, we move that down to the pelvis, opening the pelvis and creating this connection and synchrony between the two. This will go a long way to support that connection. At this point, I hope that your jaw is feeling awesome. I would love for you to comment. Let me know how the routine went for you, how you're feeling. Please share this video with a friend. Like the video, subscribe to our channel. This really helps this information to be able to reach more people. I recommend checking out the hip stretch video next to really help open up those hips and support the TMJ. And we'll see you on the next video. Now we're gonna be getting into the last muscle, which is the lateral pterygoid muscle. This is a troublemaker muscle when it comes to TMJ pain. And we are... Come on, lateral pterygoid. Stop tripping me up. Let's do this.